So just letting yourself come into center. This evening, the guardians actually wanted to share the next layer of something with us. So this is something I think is going to be important for each of us to start to feel our larger morphogenic bodies, our larger vibrational energetic bodies. So as you take some breaths, come into center again and allow yourself to just anchor your field around you, commanding your space around you. Remembering that even when we come together, that we are still sovereign within our energy. We still maintain sovereignty within our space. We are still maintaining our space. But as our space is maintained, we then get to co-create together in a circle of unity, of love, of light. And as you take a deep breath, allow yourself just to imagine your chakras within your system. For future reference, if you want to download, I did put a PDF in the chat box that you can download in case you want to visualize some of what I'm going to be sharing with you. But we're going to just start to introduce a few more of our chakras that we have available to us so that we can start to move larger fields of energy around us as we begin to interface and connect into our Cathara grid. Last week, we started to talk about our 12 tree grid, which is our larger blueprint that came from source. And that as the source codes came down, it imprinted into this 12 tree grid. And as it came down, it started to crystallize into more structured forms and patterns in order for us to have our energy fields, our morphogenetic fields, our structure within us, that we get to move our energy, feel the vibrations within our hand, hear the vibrations within our heart and within our sound. And as you begin to breathe into that, you can sense how all of those crystallized forms then begin to come into our chakras. And we are very aware of our first chakra in the root, our second sacral chakra, our third solar plexus chakra, our fourth heart center, our five fifth chakra, the throat chakra, our sixth chakra in our pineal gland, our seventh chakra at the top of our head. And now I'm going to introduce just for this evening, the next three or four chakras. There are 15 major chakras that we have that begin to interface into the larger galactic body, our planetary body and our galactic body. So as you move from your crown chakra, I want you just to imagine and command into your field. I command of my higher self, higher self, calibrate all of my chakras into my highest good. Calibrate them at the spin and size that is most appropriate for me in this time to be of sustaining service to my body and to allow me to be a vehicle for my higher self. Calibrate them now. And so it is. Take a deep breath. Just asking your higher self, higher self, calibrate and align all axitonial lines and all meridians in the body, left to right, right to left, front to back, back to front, and all diagonals. And all you need to do is imagine that every meridian and every axitonial line is just clicking into place and becoming a free flowing stream of your energy, of your light. Let yourself remember the source field, the soul field that you come from. And when you feel that source field you come from, when you align all of your meridian lines, it's as if you open up your channel so that all of that can just flow and stream and pour directly into you, into your aura into your light body and into your physical body. So it starts to pour through you and you could even feel it pouring through your bloods so that your blood with every pump of your heart is flowing your 
Christ consciousness, your codes, your light codes, your high vibrational frequencies right through you. You are a living emissary of light, experiencing a physical reality. And as you take a deep breath, I now want to direct your attention to your eighth chakra. Your eighth chakra is right above your heart center. It's closer to what you would call your thymus, which is helping to regulate many, many, many of your systems within your body. And I want you just to imagine coming into your eighth chakra. This is the eighth chakra, but it's a morphogenetic chakra. So now you're starting to really feel yourself on a light body level. And just use your imagination to feel right above your heart. And this chakra has a more multidimensional feel to it. It's interfaced into your light body, which means that it's in your body, but it's not in your body. It would take your third eye vision to even see it. And I want you just to feel it for a moment. And I'm going to say some words and you can allow them if they resonate for you to ring in your mind to reclaim the space. In this very I am present moment of now, I acknowledge the eighth chakra of my body. I acknowledge all of the regulatory systems that have been moving the codes, the frequencies and the language of light through this body. Acknowledging now that the language of light and the fire letter codes move through the hormonal system of this body, that they are the language of source code. They are the language of the divine. They are the language of harmony that moves every single system in this body so that it flows in unison and harmony and in divine right order. In this very I am present moment of now, I am asking that any place that I have compromised this body, any place that I have compromised my communication, any place that I have shut down stations of communication because I didn't want to hear source, I didn't want to hear my higher purpose, or I didn't want to hear my message, or I didn't even want to be here anymore. I do not agree to that any longer. In this very I am present moment of now, we are hereby commanding that we are willing to be the vessel and the voice of our higher self. We are willing to be the vessel and the voice of the divine light and presence of the mind of the universe, that we are hereby in this very moment dedicating our eighth chakra to be in harmony and in presence with full communication to our higher stations of identity and to listening to the wisdom of our higher self as it guides us and directs us. We command this now and so it is. Take a deep breath. And I want you to imagine for a moment, every single hormone in your body is really just like a packet of information, like a code or an email being sent back and forth to every other station within the body. And I want you to imagine every single hormone is now infusing with your divine light code signatures and just open it up, just breathe it in. And I want you just to imagine your thymus. So that eighth chakra around your thymus, just opening up and surrendering it to your soul field. That at some point in time, each and every one of us made a decision to come here that each and every one of us was in a high vibratory place with our soul family, with our soul group. And we viewed into this dimensional sphere and we said, I will go, I choose. And in this moment, we are commanding any place we shut down our channels of communication to our soul's purpose and our divine right of having communication with our angelic family and our hosts of divine beings that we 
are in unison and harmony with. We do not agree to shutting these channels down any longer. Any barriers, any blocks, any limitations, any feelings of being alone, any feelings of separate, any feelings of I don't matter. We are hereby in this moment permanently and irrevocably canceling and deleting all of these beliefs and all of these blocks and all of these limitations. In this very I am present moment of now, we are hereby commanding to open up all levels of communication again, fully and completely to our higher self. We command this now and it is done. Take a deep breath. And notice how you can feel energy beginning to open up in your throat. And again, taking another deep breath. And as we allow ourselves, now we're going to move up one more station of identity and it's going to be very close to the pineal gland. In the head, very close to the pineal gland near the thalamus. So again, another station and another place where we are regulating from a very high vibratory place, all of the systems of this body. I want you just to imagine near your pineal gland, you can just say ninth chakra, ninth chakra, ninth chakra in the thalamus. And just allow yourself to settle into your head, feel it in there. You may begin to even feel your crown of your head starting to vibrate. In this very I am present moment of now, we are hereby acknowledging any place that we've shut down, entering into this body, any places where we have resisted fully merging with the physical body, any places where we have resisted fully and completely being a part of a physical experience where we have only put one toe into this body or one etheric toe into having an experience in this lifetime and we have kept most of our spirit out of our body in this very moment all of the places where we have chosen to not fully and completely be a participant or integrate into this life and be the full expression that we came here to be we are hereby acknowledging it now to all of the places we were afraid to be dense. We were afraid to be heavy. We were afraid to be locked down. We were afraid to be trapped in a body. We were afraid to possibly be stuck in this lower dimensional realm. We see that fear. And to all of this fear that we've ever held on to, to fully and completely merging and being a part of this life, we do not consent to you any longer. In this very moment, it is commanded be gone now and in your mind and in your heart allow yourself to feel these words i know who i am i know who i am i remember who i am i am infinite i am light i am infinite and i am love i am infinite and i am light and i am infinite and i am love Take a deep breath. To all of the places that we ever had a fear that merging our light into a physical density would destroy the light, would destroy our consciousness or destroy who we are. We hereby now acknowledge that fear. And to all the places that we bought into it, we do not agree to that any longer. We acknowledge now the power of the light. We acknowledge now the power of the divine. We acknowledge now that there is no density that can ever put out the light, turn out the light, or destroy the light. The light is beyond. The light is strong. The light is love. Love transcends all. And in this moment, we are hereby proclaiming through our ninth chakra that we are willing to anchor in the full codes and vibrations of love, light, and the solar codes and the fire letters right into our body now. All of the places that we have ever withheld fully and completely bringing full activation into this body and allowing our body to become the powerful enlightened vehicle that it has the potential to be. We delete all of those blocks now and we open ourselves now in willingness to be that vehicle. I want you to feel for a moment. 
taking a deep breath, I want you to feel for a moment what it would be like to open your ninth chakra and let your, your body completely be activated into an angelic form. Let your body feel those codes coming in. What would it be like to let all of those light codes wire your body into vast consciousness? Telepathic capabilities, abilities for teleportation, abilities for telekinesis, abilities for sensing and feeling, all of the different dimensions and the level, the ability to actually sense and perceive outside of your physical reality. And I want you just to acknowledge all of the places I've been afraid of the boogeyman, I've been afraid of the dark, and I've been afraid to see through the veil. I do not agree to that any longer. I command to dissolve all veils of deception. I command to dissolve all lies now. In this very I am present moment of now, I open my eyes. I am willing to see. Higher self, rearrange all of my codes inside of me now to reflect this new declaration. I am that I am. And I stand in the truth that I came here to be. I command this now. And so it is. Take a deep breath. And we're going to do one more chakra and we're going to move up into our 10th chakra. The 10th chakra is about six inches above the head. You hear me talk about this one a lot. This is the one that if you can imagine right above your head, about six inches above your head, this 10th chakra is actually where the higher self begins to anchor in into this physical reality and where we begin to have the ability to communicate and have a connection to our higher stations of identity. So I just want you to feel about six inches above your head, a sphere of light above your head. And all I want you to do is just open it up. I feel my 10th chakra now. I acknowledge this galactic chakra. This is a galactic chakra. I want you just to feel it. Because this is moving up into the second harmonic universe, the third harmonic universe, and up into the fourth harmonic universe, up into the Christos avatar. It even can move up into the fifth harmonic universe of the Rishik fields. But I just want you to feel it anchoring all the way up. And just take that feeling of that sphere above your head and just ask, higher self, calibrate that sphere to the right size for me to feel protected, to feel as though you are here with me, to feel that I am never alone, to remember that I never came here alone. I never did this alone. I have never been alone. I have always been guided. I have always been protected. I have always been watched over. I have always been loved. And I want you just to feel that 10th chakra just opening up just enough to create a shower of light over all of you. And it washes down the ninth chakra, the eighth chakra, then back up to the seventh chakra, six, five, four, three, two, one and out your root chakra and just let it flush all of your chakras through every day more and more you can feel this in your heart you can say this every day more and more i am willing to be who i came here to be every day more and more i am willing to be who i came here to be every day more and more i am willing to be who i came here to be I fortify my field with my truth and with the love and the light of the infinite creator. I proclaim my declaration of intention. I know without a doubt that I declare from the core of my heart my intention to serve my source. I align myself fully and completely to the heart of the one infinite creator. I dedicate this life to being the true heart song across all the cosmos. 
I surrender my ego now to be in service to the law of one mission of first cause light as a pillar of light. And in the light of truth, I declare and intend. I am that I am. I am a soul sovereign being. And so it is. Take a deep breath. Expand your energy sphere around you. Notice that your higher self body is bigger than your room that you're sitting in right now. Your physical body is always held, always loved, always protected, always being watched over. All you have to do is remember you, remember your higher self. Remember, you are holding you. You are protecting you. You are guiding you. And you are so honored. Thank you for being the you that you came here to be. As you take a deep breath with so much love and so much honor, we bring this beautiful sacred meditation to a close. And so it is.